Thank you all for coming. My name is Ian Law and uh, I've been given the task of being MC. I'd like to firstly acknowledge that we meet today on the land of Ghana people and I pay my respects to their elders both past and present. The reason for getting together, uh, and there are rallies all around the country uh, today and uh, further one tomorrow in Adelaide, we'll tell you about that later, is in response to the High Court decision and uh, rather than stealing the thunder of the speakers that we've got, I'll leave it to them. is let them stay. Our first speaker today is Meredith Edwards. Meredith is the principal from Whitman High School and um, she'll talk to you about her background in this. Thanks Meredith. Thank you. I've been a teacher for over 35 years, hence the glasses, and a secondary school principal for 12 years. As a teacher, my moral and social purpose is to make the lives of all young people better, to look after their education but also their well-being. When I signed up as a principal, it says on the role statement that the principal plays a vital role in delivering the education department's goals, the child being at the centre of everything we do. It also says that a principal leadership is critical to school ethos and culture. And so as a teacher and a school principal, I must give voice to the voiceless victims of yesterday's High Court decision. The children and their families who have experienced the nightmare of life on Nauru and are now experiencing the fear of being sent back to Nauru. I'm not a psychiatrist, but a report released today by the Human Rights Commission summarised a lot of interviews at Wickham Point Detention Centre outside of Darwin. They interviewed young detainees, both who had only experienced detention in Australia and those who had come from Nauru. What they found what was that offshore detention was many times more damaging to the mental health of young people than even detention in Australia and of course many times more damaging than those young people who have the relative freedom of community detention and living in, uh, on bridging visas and attending our schools. I've had the privilege of working with young people in my school who've experienced both closed detention at places like Christmas Island and Wickham Point and who have also delighted in the freedom of community detention and they loved attending at, at school. They've described though the mental anguish that they felt in closed detention when they suffered from a, a published government policy of offering no hope. No hope of a life in Australia, no hope of a university education and no hope of becoming contributing members of our community. I've also witnessed sadly the damage to the mental health of one of my students, one of the two who were taken away in June 29th of 2014 from Woodville High School and placed in Wickham Point. He contacted me weekly from Wickham Point and I could hear the despair in his voice. He gradually withdrew emotionally and was reluctant to come out of his room to take phone calls. Trung was a beautiful and is still, wherever you are Trung, a lovely young man. He deserved better than this and this afternoon I'm his voice as well as those who are living in fear. what it is like for those young people who are living in Nauru and who have never ever even stepped foot on Australia, maybe other than Christmas Island. But also I wonder about the psychological effect 
on those young people who were sent here for a range of reasons for medical attention in Australia. Now, because of the High Court judge, judgment yesterday, they face the fear of their forced return to Nauru. If such mental distress was experienced by one of my Australian citizens, even though they may be of 69 different cultural groups, I'd be legally obliged to make a mandatory, uh, mandatory report. If one of my Australian students shared with me that they were at risk of emotional or physical abuse at home or on the way, I must protect them and work with my counsellors to make sure they have a place of safe shelter and support. So how then can I stand by as a school principal and not call out the injustice of children and their families being returned to Nauru? For their sake, for the sake of the children and the families who live in fear of being exiled from our community to Nauru, I plead, let them stay. who will want to grow up into responsible local and global citizens who make a stand for what they believe in. The Cassidys, who is behind here, who was a part of the Bring Back the Woodville, the Alexes and the Stevens, on their behalf and all young Australians, I say, let them stay.